Let's run through the basics. In this case, it was to stabilize this handheld shot. Then set up a comp with your footage on the bottom and a colored solid on top with the blend mode set to multiply. And start your first mask. Don't try to include the entire subject. We'll take care of the detail areas later with additional masks. Now set a keyframe for your mask and move it to a point in the timeline where the action seems to change direction. Move the entire mask by picking a common point. Repeat the process for several key points. Now, using the J and K key, click and drag to select multiple points. When the mask is adjusted for each keyframe, press the space bar and observe how the mask tracks. When it gets way off, stop and adjust the mask points. In most cases, you'll only have to add a few keyframes. When the first mask is acceptable, find a good point to mask one of the detail areas. I'll do this front leg first. The same procedure is used to adjust the mask at key points in the action. If you hide the keyframes on mask 1 and lock the mask, you can use the J and K keys to move between the keyframes on the second mask. Wash, rinse, repeat. Once the masking is complete, it's time to remove the stabilization from the footage. In this case, I'm just going to delete the keyframes for anchor point and position. I had used an expression to lock the masking layer to the center of the comp. I'm going to replace this expression by first typing value plus then using the pick whip to attach the layer to one of the attach points. Now I simply drag the layer into position and set it as an alpha track mat for the footage. That's all there is to it.